Hello all, um, my name is Mark and I have a question, uh, maybe some of you can help, um, reloading question here for you guys. Um, I recently got one of the RCBS precision mics for my 308. Here's my rifle over here. This is my 308 rifle. It's a Savage Model 10 FPSR. And I have a question. Let me see if I can get kind of close. These are the same. I believe, yeah, this is the same. So this question is between here and here. Um, <clears throat> this is a 168 grain Sierra Match King. This is a 175 grain tipped Sierra Match King. Um, I've been shooting both of these combinations. This is a IMR 4896 combo, 42 grains, and this is a 43 grains of Varget. Uh, I've been shooting that for quite some time. They both shoot uh, relatively well. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, just, you know, I, I love tools. Uh, so I got this, uh, this gauge here and, um, I, so I learned how to use this and what I'm finding, and this is my question is, uh, does this matter or, uh, or doesn't it, or is there something that I need to, uh, change I need to make, um, <clears throat> is when I take this and put it into my rifle and, uh, and I'll, I'll get some other close-ups here and, and show you what I've found in the numbers. Um, but I find this one here, the results I'm finding, and you can see the shapes of the bullets. I mean, even though they're both Sierras, um, this one seems to have the ogive is much further near the, near the tip than this one here. So my question is where this is engaging the lands and the grooves here. Um, this one here, the 168 grain, is seen, seems to have um, a jump from the lands of only about four thousandths. Whereas this one, which is a, I would expect to be, just by the weight of the bullet, uh, is about eighty thousandths uh, off of the, off of the lands. Um, <clears throat> the problem is, uh, since I, since I uh, converted my rifle over to run a box magazine, you can see here. Um, I've actually had to push these, these right here, the 175s, back just to fit into the magazine. So I'm wondering if I might have to abandon that bullet or, um, or what. So, uh, that's my question. Let me, let me pause it and I'm going to show you what I'm getting on my measuring tool here. Okay, hold on just a second. And here you can see this is the 168 grain. Uh, loaded 308 cartridge, and it's actually about three thousandths off the lands. And I know these, the numbers, um, it's kind of hard in looking at my camera, but these numbers right here are kind of, and maybe I need to add some white paint in there to make them a little more visible, but just uh, make note of where the line with the zero is, and then the short line right there. So this is the 168 grain. You can see from the comparator tool, uh, it was only, or from that chambering tool that's adjustable there, um, and hopefully you guys are familiar with this kit, um, it's, it looks like to be about 3,000 off the lands. So let me put the other bullet in. Okay, so this is the 175 grain. Um, and as you can see, right there, barely in that light there, you can see that little mark right there. So we have gone all the way around, and this is one whole revolution is 50,000th. So we've gone one revolution plus, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, so about 27, so 50 and 27, and I went off to a private school, that's, I'll do my best, it's about 77, um, 77 thou off of the, uh, of the lands. So, uh, 
you know, my questions, what am I doing here? Um, am I just letting it eat? Uh, am I, since I've gone to the magazine and having to have this uh, fit into the magazine now, am I stuck with not being able to use this bullet or being stuck with having to use stick with the 168 uh, Sierra Match Kings, which, which is a great bullet, by the way. So, um, and I've verified this also. Let me stand by. Okay, uh, I've verified this also with this tool here. Now, I know optimally you're going to want to use the digital where you can zero this, but uh, just for giggles here. Let me see if I'm... Let me stand by. Let me get this all straightened up. Okay, and you can see here, and, and again, this is just a number for reference. Um, so we have 3 inches, 3.2, 3, one and a half. So we'll just call it uh, 3.231. 3.231. Okay, so just keep that number in mind, 3.231. Okay, and then you can see here, uh, this is the 175 grain. The other is, there's the 168 there. This is the 175 grain, and again, this is just from reference, 3.150. Okay, so I did a little math. Um, three, you know, subtract this one, we get about 81 thousandths difference um, from a, and I'm not really sure if this comparator, is this, you know, measuring from the ogive? Um, not really sure, uh, but it definitely is telling us there's a difference. So uh, through, through that method with the caliper, we're getting, uh, is that 81 thousandths? And uh, through using this tool here, the RCBS precision micrometer, we're getting about 77 thousandths. So I guess my question to you, uh, if you would like to please uh, enter into the comments, um, what do you think? What do you think? Um, do I need to uh, just stick with this and then maybe shorten this up just a little bit? Um, I don't know. I haven't done much testing on how well uh, differences uh, between uh, from off the lands test uh, because I, you know up until then up until now I really haven't used this tool the way it's uh, designed so um, <clears throat> now I think I might do some testing but uh, this was an interesting find just um, with stuff I've been using for a while so uh, what do you think? Uh, please place it in the comments. Thanks.